we learn to live with one another. The Conference of Catholic Bishops has called out the Kenya Kwanzaa government in what they term as failure to bring down the cost of living despite the promise by the Kenya Kwanzaa regime to lower it. Six months down the line, we expected the government to be uh, on course in fulfilling the promises of its manifesto. Amen. Amen. They are, however, cautioning the government not to raise taxes, but instead give waivers on crucial commodities. Kuna otoza ushuru vifaa ambavyo vinaumiza mwananchi wa kawaida, chakula na sikingi. Na tunashukuru na fasi walizo chukua, hata labda kuagiza chakula, na kupata chakula ambacho, kinaeza kushusha bei ya vyakula, hasa unga na vyakula vingine. On the bipartisan talks, the bishops insist that individual interests should not make it to the discussions as that would potentially lead to a standoff that would impede the talks. We must raise an alarm that what happens when antagoni uh, antagonism hardened their hearts and allow pride and stubbornness to close any avenue of peace that comes about through constructive dialogue. We wish to note that the Supreme Court of Kenya gave its judgment in regard to the winner of the recent presidential elections. That decision has to be upheld, otherwise we run the risk of becoming a lawless society. They have further called on Azimiola Umoja to turn away from the streets and focus on dialogue to resolve their grievances. A number of political econom economic issues ailing this country emanate from unresolved historical injustices and mismanagement of public resources which require adequate time to resolve and find lasting solutions. To resolve these issues, Kenyans require a peaceful environment, free of confrontations and street demonstrations. Instead of allowing themselves to be driven by personal and selfish political interests, we ask them to reevaluate their value system guided by their conscience endeavor to do what is right for all Kenyans. David Kagina, K24, Nairobi.